Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. And um, one of the things you need to do to get out of Babylon is not be dependent on the government and other services for your own well-being. And right there's a golf cart. You can run that thing all day long on an overnight charge. I'm going to test that one of these days maybe, but... I can drive it all day long and not, not have a problem, and I can haul a lot of wood. I think I can get about three or 400 pounds of wood in that cart there, the Gorilla cart. That thing is awesome. I highly recommend them. It says it'll hold 1,500 pounds. It will not. It would collapse and crush it and break it. Yeah, 1,500 pounds is a lot in a half-ton pickup truck. That's three-fourths of a ton. Half-ton carries half a ton. Get a clue. Okay, so anyway, that's not a three-quarter ton cart but it is very good it's very durable i haven't seen it cracking or doing anything wrong i did just tip it over accidentally because i tried to i pulled the back toward me and it just flipped the front over i don't think it damaged anything just flipped it my bad um so one of the things y'all are going to need if you want to be free and live a, want a good life is that they have firewood so what you see here is my firewood operation. Um, this was called the big fire here. Black and crap everywhere. Had a fire go through here. Don't know how it started. My son took the blame for it with the electric fence, but I don't think that was it. A uh, seven-year-old daughter came over, a girl came over here and she goes, it started right here. And I went, I totally agree with you. Because by the time I got here, about 15 minutes after we found out about it, I went and thought and knew it was bad. It was coming toward the cabin. And so I came over here, and this was all smoldering. There was no open flames, nothing. It was just smoldering. So they had been raging here for a long time because there was a lot of wood that got totally burned up. The guy was processing firewood here. So whether he did it or whatever, when he did it, whatever, but that's where it started was here. Otherwise, it, to say this started at the electric fence is like way over there at that tree line. It would have to race over here in like 10 minutes, burn all this up, and then take three hours to go back that way to burn a building down didn't happen that way plus the wind was blowing that way in that direction so it had come this way against the wind and it gone back that way with the wind it just made no sense okay so firewood these pieces are big now there's two or three options one is mechanical force you know a lift or a block and tackle something like that where you can just man up and pick them up well they're they're too heavy for me i'm going to hurt myself hurt my back and back's really sore already so it's about a heart attack and a stroke, so I don't want to push my heart too much. So the other option is break them into two pieces, and or three or four, you know, quarter them. I may do that on some of them. That one's got a big gnarly knot on it. That ain't going to split very easily. Might get a couple pieces off of it, but that's about it. Generally, I could split in this direction. Uh, that would be 90 degrees to that knot, and then split it in half and take off the, the clear part. But knots are very hard wood. The other option is an inclined plane, or like you walk upstairs, you know, you can go up one stair at a time. Well, that's an inclined plane, basically. So I rolled that piece over here, and I stepped it up onto that one, rolled it to the next one, and then stepped it up onto the next one. Like from there, I think I can get it up into the cart without hurting myself too bad. If not, I'll split it. I like splitting them anyway. I'm just doing this as a... As a... Uh, exercise and I can do this you know so that one I walked it up on top of that one that's facing this way and then up onto the second one I can pull the cart up there and hopefully manhandle that one up in there I should have a, actually another stair step one more higher and I might do that I might try that one so anyway on the subject of preparedness I wanted to say that you know I said in earlier videos I wanted to do you know deal with the spiritual aspect mental, emotional, and then the physical. And, you know, this is part of the physical, just to get out here and do it, you know, make it happen. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making it happen. A lot of firewood out here that's been diced up, and if, it, if you don't pick it up, it just rots. So I don't think the guy's ever going to come back and finish the job. I paid him for a chain, I gave him a chainsaw and trade for some wood, and I don't think it's ever going to happen, so I'm going to go out and do it myself. And I can split it. I got the, we got the splitter back yesterday. So I'm building up a whole boatload of stuff to split, and then I'll just start splitting it. So I will maybe put this on pause and see if I can get that sucker in there. I don't have where to set the phone, so 
would stay anywhere. You know, I could prop it up on that one maybe. If I had some things, I'm gonna pause this or stop it. I got to pause. Where is the pause thingy, Bobber? I don't see it. 